Hello YouTube. So this is Tandra, um, Miss Tandra 25, um, aka TJ. Um, I'm coming to you today to do my very first wig review. Um, it is on a wig that I've been eyeing for about a year and a half now and I am very much a weave girl. So doing the wig thing was definitely not what I wanted to do. But after a careful review and the fact that I do work out quite a bit, um, it just made sense to just kind of switch over to the lace fronts. Um, I did do the U-part wigs for a while and that was a lot of fun, but actually creating them is a lot of time. So I rather just buy something and wear it. Um, so that's what I did. So the wig that I'm reviewing today is the Sensational Empress Lace Front. Um, it is Brie and it's in a 1B. Um, I'm actually wearing it now. Um, I've been wearing this one for about three weeks and this one um, actually is <sighs> unfortunately not the color that I wanted. Um, so I ordered this one from hairsisters.com and it was actually on sale, really good price, $27.99. Um, and if you have over, I believe it's $49 um, in merchandise, it's free shipping. So I got this and then I got another wig that's short that I'm going to wear in the summer because it's kind of, even though this is Arizona, um, we could rock it because technically it is the summer here all the time, but I was going to wait on that one. So this one um, I actually ordered, it was a P1B slash 430. And if you look on Hair Sisters website, here's my problem with the, the actual color. The actual wig is actually fantastic, but the color, here's the problem. So when I purchased this wig, I went on their website and they have all the different color schemes that the wig comes in. So I saw that, you know, the P1B 430, and I thought, OMG, that is beautiful. So I wanted to have that one because it had really good streaks in it. So it looks black with chunks of 4 and 30 streaks in it, which was beautiful. So when I got it, this is what I got. So um, it's really, really brown at the top, and basically it's like the 4 and 30 mixed at the top and the bottom. If you can see it here, it's actually like the 1B. So it looks more, I mean, after I got it, I was pretty sad. I mean, the, it's still highlighted there, but the highlights more come through on the four than it would be if the background was actually like the 1B black. So when I um, got it and I went on the website, it looks more like the model, um, her. So it looks more like this where on hers, um, it's that brownish color on the top and then the black on the bottom. So that's what I thought it was, but this is actually the P1B30 that she's wearing. So I don't know what happened in the color scheme. Um, another girl in her review um, actually has this exact same color and hers looks the exact same as mine. So I'm thinking with the lighting and it is a website that they just got it wrong. So whatever, anyways, back to the hair. So the wig is synthetic. It's 100% um, premium fiber. Um, it is fantastic. You can actually curl it or flat iron it up to 350 to 400 degrees. So if it ever gets a little bit frizzy or natty, then feel free to flat iron it. Um, I've washed this hair one time and flat ironed it twice. Um, the only thing I can really say about it, um, the color took a while to grow on me because of course, like I said, it is brown and I am of course chocolate. So everyone I work loves it. No one can really tell it's a wig. And if you look here, I believe this is why. You can see here the lace is pretty much invisible, which is amazing. So I always find myself pulling this side back a little bit more because no one ever really notices that it's a wig. Um, the bangs are, you can kind of part it in the middle. So when I'm at school or at work and I have to wear a headset, um, I usually part the hair down the middle because the bangs get on my nerves. But that's just me. I'm not a bangs person per se. Um, I love the style a year and a half ago because that was kind of the style I was rocking when I had the weaves. Um, but I really just prefer the middle part um, with just the hair flat. Unfortunately, with those, you know how the hairline is natural. No, it is not natural. Everyone knows it's a wig. Stop playing. So um, I just had to... I usually just play with it a little bit. Um, I don't like the part going the other direction, although you can do it. I wouldn't suggest it just because I don't wear it like that. But um, I will say for the past three weeks I've been wearing it, there hasn't been any major shedding or anything bad going on with it. I, Like I said, I have washed it. There hasn't been any problems with it. I will show you the ends here, however. Um, the 1B ends are pretty ratty. <laughs> I find myself having to comb this hair quite a bit because it tangles, but what do you expect? It's synthetic and it was less than $30. So 
I'm not really upset about that too much. I just keep a brush at all times and I kind of finger comb through it. If I leave my brush, it's a disastrous day, so I'll just put it up in a bun. Um, the hair's pretty long. Um, it goes up to my boobs, if you see here. I've got some decent sized boobies, but um, I'll let you know that this is, I would say, 16 to 18 inches from the back. If you look here, goes about here. Um, I am going to actually open up the new one that I have so you guys can actually see because I ordered another one and I actually went on Equals, um, Equal, um, I'm sorry, Elevate Styles website. Um, Elevate Styles is probably my top two as far as websites um, for wigs and designs and that's mainly because they have amazing customer service. Between them and Diva Trust, I have never had any problems. So, and they also had another wig that I'll be reviewing next, um, the Sensational... Brooke and I love her and I got her in a very like funky color it's like the DX 47.99 where it's like red on the top black on the bottom I'll review that one later for you guys I had to have that one because that's just kind of my style like crazy so it's really cute so I got that one um unfortunately hair sisters did not have that wig so um I just went back to my you know elevate styles so I love it so I'm gonna open up this one for you like I said it's the 1B by Brie uh, by Sensational, I apologize. And it's the Brie. Um, I wanted to get in a solid color, mainly because I was so traumatized when I opened up this one and saw that the color was so brown. I nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> My boyfriend absolutely loves it. And I could punch him in the face, but you know what? <laughs> He's white and he loves my wigs. He doesn't really care. He just thinks my hair is long and whatever. The only time it, I think it really ever bothers him is when at night I take it off. But <laughs> other than that, I don't think he minds. So this is what it looks like. I did want to show you guys the construction of the wig. Um, let me see here. Pull this off. Take this out. The fantastic length of her. Um, I'm not going to wear her just yet because I do want to get, you know, another week or so use out of the one that I'm wearing. Um, it's almost Valentine's Day, which is when I'm going to pull out the brook with the red in it because I think it's going to be fly. But anyway, so this is the construction of the wig. So first I wanted to show you the lace. And here's the lace. I was a little bit concerned about the lace because I did, like most um, YouTube subscribers um, who are us African-American females, um, go on the reviews and look at them. So I have looked at um, quite a few reviews on this actual wig, and they were saying a couple things about the lace being really light or being rough. I mean, honestly, I haven't any problems with the lace. Cut it off, and I'm good to go. So you saw how it looks on me. I have no problem with it. It's pretty thick. The inside, um, it's pretty standard. You have three combs. One on each side. Um, I hate these combs. I think they're in horrible places. Um, as far as my hair, it hurts when I put these two side combs in. So I refuse to wear them. The one on the top is pretty much unnecessary. But I mean, it's good if you want more security. Um, honestly, I have a smaller head. So the part that matters the most to me is, of course, the adjustable straps. Because my little tiny head, I have to squeeze it pretty tight. I think they're about here on me. Or here-ish. Yeah, usually about here on me, like right on side of the combs is where I put them just so um, it's snug. And then I use the back comb and that is all. I don't use anything else, just the back comb and then the adjustable straps. Um, as far as, and then of course there's just tracks here. Um, as far as the parting space on here, um, the bang, the good thing about the bang is that it is freestyle. So you can kind of work with it. Like I said, you can do it down the middle. Um, you can do it to each side. Um, I'll show you mainly on mine here. Um, I just want to show you the construction of this one. So I have it down the middle right now and it works. Um, I love it like this. I usually will wear it like this while, when I go to work, which is what I'll be doing pretty soon. So this is what I like. If you want to look closely at it, I do wear a black cap underneath mine because for one, I'm chocolate and putting on a blonde or should we say beige cap with my black skin just wouldn't be right so I put on black you can't really see it anyway so it doesn't matter um what else about this wig um it's layered um for those who love layers it's not that layered so I can't be like oh it's amazing I can't say that to you so you may want to cut some in there I am not well skilled in cutting layers into anything so I refuse to you know destroy the wig even though it was $30 I'm not going to do it so 
Um, if somebody wants to do it for me, feel free. But um, it's mainly, I mean, it's a bit shorter up here. I would say 12 to 14. I'd probably say 14 up here. And then the longer 16, 18 down here. Um, but it's not like just choppy. Like if you saw the, what's the name of that wig? It's beautiful. It's a sensational wig as well. It's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. So I can't remember the name of it, but if I do, I'll put it on the bottom for you guys so you can see it. Um, that wig is beautiful and the layers in it is absolutely amazing. Um, I consider getting that one, but it is so freaking long. It is really long. And me personally, this is Arizona, so we can't do too much long hair. Eventually you start sweating, it gets hot. Um, it's gross. So anyways, with this one, I have put in an updo one time. And no one has really noticed that it was not mine. Um, one of my coworkers at work, she actually loves it. And she said, she's like, it looks so natural. I mean, I can't say that it looks natural because it's the back of my head and I do not know. Um, but when I feel it, it feels extremely unnatural. So I do not pull it up very often. Um, I usually just put in like the low, regular, you know, standard weave ponytail. I will not put it in an updo because there is no baby hairs on the back of this. Um, there's no baby hairs in the front of this wig. There is no baby hairs on this wig. So it says it, they are lying. There is no um, baby hair on this entire wig. However, it is fabulous and I do love it. So if anybody wants a cheap $30 wig that looks like a weave, seriously looks like a weave and no one will think anything about it unless you tell them. And I'm an honest person, so I still tell people it's wig, but <laughs> um, feel free to get this because it's fantastic. Um, it'll last you. I've had this in, like I said, since say the first or second week of February. So we're working, I mean, of January. So we're working on this first week of February. So I think I've had it in, I think this is my third going into fourth week or fourth going into fifth week wearing this. And the only thing that's really the problem right now is these ratty ends that I would love to cut off. But I mean, at this point, it's, I'm just gonna flat iron them and leave them like it is. And then this weekend, switching it up to possibly the black one or the fantastic fabulous one that I'll be showing you guys later. So if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to do so. It is my first review, so hopefully you like it. Um, and like I said, um, oh, and another thing really quick, as far as the front, I have hair in the front of my head right here. So <laughs> I have a, a good amount of hair right here. So I don't like letting the lace up front show because you can see it pretty easy. Nobody's really ever noticed it, but I don't ever pull the bane backs either. So I can't say that people wouldn't notice. So I wouldn't recommend really doing it. Um, but I think you'll love this wig. So if this is something that you've been eyeing, and you're like, I don't know. Yes, no, maybe so. I would say definitely do it. Um, be careful of the colors that you pick because Hair Sisters and there's also clearhair.com. They have the um, different, um, like all the popular wigs and they'll show you the different variations in colors. I will tell you those colors are slightly skewed. Um, so I would not go directly off the colors that you see. If you're having doubts about it, I would say just stick to what you know. You know, the ones, the 1Bs, 2, 4. Don't go too crazy with the color. You know, the 1B30s. But if you see something, a crazy color or crazy highlights, it's usually not correct. So, and I know this from another wig that I purchased as well. So that's why I say that. So, um, questions, comments, let me know. Um, I know that a lot of people don't like the smacking. <laughs> I never thought that I did. But if I do, let me know. So I'll stop. I am super annoyed with the, snap the smacking too. So the smack of the teeth and the ugly so <laughs> that will ruin a whole video for me i won't give it a thumbs down or i hate it or anything but i definitely won't be excited about it so i try to pay attention to that as well i don't normally do it so if i did like i said let me know um hope you enjoyed the review let me know what you think bye guys